Jan Jongert, who is the curator of the pavilion for the Netherlands Holland here in the uh, biennial garden uh, area for the biennial 2023. And in front of the uh, presentation uh, on uh, plumbing systems. Exactly. Well, <laughs> plumbing systems. Why we look, yeah, yeah. Jan Jongert is plumbing architect. So why are we talk about plumbing uh, at an architectural exhibition? Yeah. Jan, can you explain the reason for this? Well, it's uh, indeed in traditional architecture you would maybe look at plumbing systems, but we're uh, dealing with plumbing the system. Right. Which means that we look at the larger systems, like hidden flows in our right. society that currently. So it's a metaphor, but also a kind of technical. Yeah, approach. but also to see can we. Uh, uh, make new connections that currently are yeah not working. Right, right. And, uh, can we actually improve our surroundings in a, in a really systemic way? But you're an architect. How did you get into this aspect of looking at rainwater and plumbing and water? What was the what was what guided you into that process? Yeah, at some point when designing, I think already at uh, when studying, um, you can design again a new very nice building and a great atmosphere, but actually. Actually, the systems that run through it uh, maybe are even more defining and more important. And there, it, that's really where uh, problems occur right. in uh, clogging uh, that needs to be plumbed actually in order to get its flow and actually connect it back to natural cycles, right. which we cut off in the past uh, decades. Uh, Holland, we know for its history, has always dealt with this water issue. So it's part of the also uh, the culture of architecture construction. Holland to deal with this. Uh, is that something that affected your work at a micro scale here? Uh, yeah, well, I, I think uh, indeed, like, like we always had to deal with water. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm living below a seawater mm -hmm. level, so there's a dikes and pump system, etc. Funny is that, that one of the systems we show here is um, has a similar uh, technology, but then right. on the level of the roof. Right. So you can actually uh, yeah, use the same knowledge that we have developed in the Netherlands with right. NILS uh, for roofs and create much more clever water systems than we currently have. Now here you're working with Caroline Kingma uh, on this uh, system. You're actually trying to create a rainwater retention system for the pavilion itself. Can you explain why you want to do this and how that's working out? Yeah, so the, the, the rainwater system is a really a literal way to use a flow that currently gets lost into the sewage system mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, actually pollutes our surroundings afterwards. Right. Um, but why if I did Kalen Kingma is because, um, in my opinion, she's one of the few architects that really challenges right, right. the society uh, and the flows that are running through our society, the basics right, right. of our construction industry money. Right. And she started investigating um, how our economy is working and uses water as a metaphor to show how actually unequal and uns unsustainable uh, our economy is working. Uh, inside, there's is uh, also an example for how individuals can create their own rainwater retention system. How practical do you think is it for anybody around the world to be able to do something like this? Is it, is it, is it you know, how, where's, uh, uh, what's the ways and means we can get this out into a larger populace, this issue of rainwater and retention? Yeah, the, I think it depends very much where you operate is. Uh, we have three rainwater systems. One is an industrial one that uh, really for larger buildings, larger commissioners, mm -hmm. uh, you can basically order them today at a company and they can install it. Uh, but we also made a do-it-yourself version mm -hmm. uh, using waste materials right, from right. the market, from food that you can uh, actually build yourself on a small scale right, uh, right. on your house. And what is special is that for this occasion, we also developed a third right. uh, retention system, as it's called, uh, that we made 100% natural. So it has remains from uh, fruit uh, pits that is filtering water, right, okay. wool, right. um, yeah, all kind of natural materials to actually store water on the highest level and create high value. In the exhibition, we also see uh, certain iconography about this, uh, architectural visualizations. Mm. So it's not just a, you know, we see a process laboratory environment, we see some technical drawings, we see actual uh, models and mock-ups of these things, uh, uh, research environment. What do you feel can be the, uh, I think whenever you take this kind of technical environmental approach, um, uh, what we've seen is that people have a hard time understanding it mm. because it's a systems way of 
of thinking. Yeah. And I noticed that you did have some iconographic kind of more utopic images. What do you feel is the role of that uh, in this exhibition? Why did you choose to do that? Yeah, I, th I think we cannot just uh, change our environment on, on a technical rational level. It also, we need to speak to our emotions. And uh, I think the drawings of Kalen Kingma really uh, Apart from that, they are very precise on the systemic level. Mm -hmm. uh, they, also, they actually show the system how it works. Show really yeah. the system uh, how our economy is working, mm -hmm. and uh, but because of the yeah the, the intensity of the drawing itself, and actually also a tradition mm -hmm. in which he builds this. Um, yeah, we see uh, wherever this is shown in the Netherlands so far, mm -hmm. uh, people really get. They want to understand what's happening, right, right. and uh, yeah, that's a great way. And in order to support this, also animations have been made to tell the different storylines that right, run right. through this system. Uh, and lastly, how optimistic? I mean, we live in an age where, and this exhibition with Leslie Loco, decarbonization, <laughs> main theme. Uh, many pavilions and architects are working on this uh, environmental issue. Uh, so it seems to be in the air, but how optimistic are you about the actual implementation of it? Because it seems to be kind of going s slower than the thought process behind it. Yeah. What do you see looking forward as sort of key parameters in having more people accessible to this, governments working on it, but also corporations and innovation in this area? Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I, I see indeed a lot of positive innovations being done, but actually since our economic um, structure is working the way it does right. and how money is created, how taxes are working, uh, all the good initiatives are small pilots that need to be repeated. Maybe sometimes they are funded with uh, funding, but in order to make this really like larger scale common practice, we need to change our economy, which means... So it's an economical issue at the same it's time. It's definitely an economical issue. That's why the work of Kalan Kingma yeah. is also so important. It's because she shows that if you start to change how the economy works, um, then also you start to make different decisions. So our governments need to change their business model. Right, Architects right, right. need to change their business model. So it's a business model That's issue as much, as much as it's a technical definitely. issue. Definitely, and, and the economy is actually the, a hidden structure that right. we also can redesign. Right, right. That's uh, what's really powerful about Social these. philanthropy, perhaps, uh, uh, social entrepreneurship, these kind of things you're talking about. Well, it's, it's even more fundamental. It's, uh, yeah, actually, that we think today we still uh, take a loan in order to get better in the future. We right. start to do good at this moment, yeah. and not to uh, take a debt. And also, how taxes are working. Uh, labor is taxed. Right, right. Resources are very lowly taxed. If you change this, uh, then our whole way of how we produce, how we develop, how uh, we our companies develop their strategy will completely change. Right. And this is a necessary change that uh, yeah, uh, needs to go together with all kind of small scale and technical innovations. Uh, thank you, Jan. Uh, I was with Jan Jongert here at the Dutch Pavilion 2023, the Biennale Architecture in Venice talking about plumbing systems and plumbing the system. And it shows the importance today that architecture is given to micro scale solutions, both economic and technical. I think this exhibition has been very profoundly uh, pointed on that matter. So I want to thank you and thank the whole committee, Arik Chen uh, and the Dutch architecture community for this exhibition.